quick test of the, uh, the inverter running a lamp which is on a 5 volt socket so it's gone up from 12 volts to 240 volts to 5 volts running a lamp camcorders on charge the Cody box and the TV is running it's been sat on that for ages it was 12.3 so the batteries are quite low because they've been camping for the weekend not a lot of light in there but yeah running the lamp charging the camera the Cody and the telly swapped out the lamp for the old school boom box camera still on charge see the light flashing TV's on Cody's running 11.8 Loving this bushcraft malarkey. Is that cheap? solar generator some people don't like them being called generators but when the solar panel is plugged into that it is generating electricity uh, it stores them all the power up in two batteries inside and then with the outlets on the front and the inverter inside you have uh, portable power now on the roof rack of my car I have a 40 watt panel which isn't great I've got two of them so system stays in my car and constantly on charge with that one when i go camping i can plug a second panel into it because i've got another one but ideally i need to find myself a panel as big as the luggage rack because i like how it sits in there you can't really see it so um back on with the go with the solar box um then there's 18 usbs altogether i've got six on the front and a 12 volt socket now this is built to my needs so when I'm camping I've got the top one there for the pump for the airbed and anything else that needs 12 volt and then that'll be for me phone and vape someone else phone and vape and then two there for lights now this weekend at the moment it's on 12.6 it was on 12.8 when I got here I've been here three days Friday Saturday and Sunday and I've been charging batteries handsets uh, walkie talkies I've used the pump with this 12 volt pump here which I use to blow the bed up blowing the bed up once but topped it up three times and I use that a lot because the battery box has been living there I've been sat here on a chair and I've been blowing the fire with it to save blowing smoke in my eyes and all that all right around the back is one 12 volt input yeah I don't use proper terminals and connectors I use these because they're common so I've still got room to add another couple two or three um, as I say that plugs straight into the solar panel on the roof of the car or I've got an adapter so I could plug it into there and have three more sockets to plug and have a three solar panels in so this is my video obviously because I've been here for three days using it and like some of these videos where people build the things it's still shiny and new and nothing's been tested now if I just remove everything from the top of it torch that's USB I can charge it from USB it's also a battery bank and a cradle for my one of my household radios got two different types one goes on 12 volt and this one charges off USB so back to the box Tractable handle. I've got this designed because I can hang tea towels from it and leads that I don't want to lose or get mixed up. Um, just yeah, the design sold it to me when I was in the shop. It was ideal for camping. Um, 
it's taller there was another box that was slightly shorter i went for this because it was uh, taller good to stand on grips either side uh, wood if i'm cutting wood i can put it in the groove there and um, this comes out not that i need it to but i carry in there spare connectors fuses batteries wires leads um, one of these with two in it so i can get two more usb ports um, let's get into the dirty side of it Bear in mind, I'm a hobbyist, I'm far from an electrician. The top shelf is just full of uh, random stuff I may need. I've got a voltmeter, some tape, crocodile clip, 12 volt thingy, one of these lights, the other one's in the tent. Uh, that's for, oh, that's for the cradle, oh, which is on the desk, the ever walkie talkie. Um, four and one USBs, four and one USBs. No LED light, that's for my Bluetooth speaker if I want to use it through headphone jack instead of Bluetooth. More LED lights, extension lead, I've got another extension lead up there and another light that I've been using. In here, down the bottom there, just reachable is like 6 meter USB cable. I never got around to screwing this in. The 12 volt socket, because I don't use it much, I just left an extension lead in here. If I need it I can pull it out, not a big deal. So I didn't want any more sockets in the front, especially 240 volts, because I very, very rarely need 240 volts when I'm out and about. However, I did use my drill yesterday, and I drilled all that wood in there with 4-inch brass screws with my drill, which was quite cool, having power to hand. Um, I've got a wasp trying to attack me, it's just landed on my eyebrow. Go away, wasp. Can't go near the fire because it's gone out. <laughs> oh, it's proper trying to love me. Right, excitement over. Two forty-five amp hour batteries. I've got two seventy-two amp hours, but they're two different batteries and different ages. These are both identical, same age, never been used, brand new in a box. Um, so it gives me ninety amps altogether. However, I can only use probably 45 50 amps of that I went for two batteries instead of one because if a battery fails which they do and I'm away for a week camping I'm screwed so I went for two batteries wired up um, to keep it 12 volt to double up the ampage that way if one of the batteries do pack up I can disconnect it and spend the rest of my time on holiday running off one battery if that makes sense so at the back is the socket there for the 12 watt coming in. Note the terminals aren't covered, so if I drop anything on there, it will short out. So in the battery, um, the shop I went to at the time didn't have black and red wires, so I had to buy two <laughs> black. It's bodged up, but it works. That's the main thing. It is actually fully functioning. Um, got a trip switch there from the battery before it gets to the charge controller, which trips out. You can turn the isolate the entire unit with that switch. That come that's in line from the negative going into the charge controller. So that switches off, isolates everything. Turn it back on. Uh, I got my Chinese. Bought this a few years ago. It's rated at 10 amps, so I can drag 10 amp out the system, which is more than enough for USB power. Um, tells me how much power I've got coming in, how much I'm using, all the information on there. The video is not about it. Uh, a brass blade fuse connector there so everything on the front all the sockets are fused in here the 12 volt display has got its own fuse and the solar panel coming in is on its own fuse um, just the sockets are on here the inverter is a 300 and 300 watt or 350 watt sine wave pure sine wave not modified so it runs my laptop, TV, games consoles, I'll switch down the side. I wanted to keep it simple, I didn't want to, on my old box I had switches here and everywhere. So you literally just switch it on and off there. Turns out my phone memory is flat. And just quickly, I can isolate these switches at our well, sockets at the front by pushing that button there. System's still on, can still charge it, but these lights aren't draining the battery. So now I'm going home after the weekend camp in. I can plug that back in the car and it will charge ready for when I need it next. And again, it is fully portable. 
so thanks for watching and uh, that's my portable solar generator and you can't actually get more portable than this